Let's move on to Orioles race. Orioles race, Malone, Glass now. Orioles 8-1 and one on the road, going up against a race team that just split with the Jays in four games, but they're 10-5 and five at home. Let's see what we are dealing with here. And, uh, yeah, that total is skyrocketing in Boston, Toronto. 10.5 to 11 to 11.5. Here, Baltimore, Tampa Bay, this total opened at 8.5. It's now down to 8. Glass now opens up at minus 220. It's now minus 210. You know, I, I was bullish on the cards today. And, 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 look, I'd like the Rays to take care of business here. And I think Malone, Malone's been pitching well, much better than I expected him to pitch, mm -hmm. as these soft-tossing lefties seem to always do. <laughs> 246, 777 OPS for the Rays against lefties. Orioles versus righties, 256, 752 OPS. Orioles bullpen has been pretty good this year. 4.35 ERA, 1.28 whip. Rays bullpen, 3.92 ERA, 1.32 whip. And the Orioles looked like they were taking that dip, and then they win two straight games, 5-4 Saturday and Sunday over the Red Sox. They end the homestand 3-7. and I seven. the Red Sox, so come on. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> they, end, they end the homestand 3-7. and seven. So then we have Malone. Already looked pretty good against Baltimore on August 2nd, but bad career numbers against Boston, 6.18. Sorry, already looked good in Baltimore's 5-1 win over Boston on August 2nd. 6.18 ERA, nine career appearances. And then Glass now coming off that great start against the Yankees. Great start. And he's got great numbers against the Orioles. So, yeah, look, the Raves, the Rays should win this game. But at what price? At what price and how do you bring the juice down? Is there a way to bring the juice down? Are you making a move here, Orioles, Rays, and um, Basically, everything you said, that's kind of I, – I, I like the Rays. Uh, the numbers show that there's actually value on the Rays at this price. Um, but I'm not sure I want to be laying this number with them with uh, how sneaky Tommy Malone has been. I mean – Across his career, he's been about a slightly averagest pitcher. I mean, there's a reason why Tommy Malone's still in the league. Like, everyone goes, oh, that guy sucks. Let's fade him. But, I mean, he's just carried, like, average numbers this whole year. Like, he's always going to be able to find a slot on a team. He's got about – he's a – he's like you said, those soft off team lefties, they, they always seem to just kind of carry an ERA around four, you know, which is, you know, decent enough to keep you in the league. Um the glass now, he's had a rough year so far, but there's a lot of positive regression uh, in his uh, numbers here. Like, he's got a 6 ERA, so you know that's going to come down. Um, his Sierra on the season is 371. Um, and I'm looking at his bat at 349. So I expect glass now to, you know, come back to his mean. And especially with that last start against the Yankees kind of shows, okay, he's probably getting right here. If glass now is getting right, um, the Rays should absolutely be a minus 200, minus 250 type favorite in this game um, because Tommy Malone at his best is just an average pitcher. And the Rays offense over the last two weeks is extremely hot. Uh, 287 batting average, 365 on base percentage, a 503 slugging, 268 Woba, 138 weighted runs created plus over the last two weeks. I mean, that's a very hot offense. Um uh, granted, the uh, Boston Red Sox have a uh, pretty hot offense right now, too. Or not the Red Sox, uh, obviously the Red Sox. Orioles. The Orioles have a pretty hot offense also right now, so that's really nothing to sneeze at. Um, that's why I'm staying off this game. Um, I think the Rays, number on the Rays is justified at, like, minus 200, but I'm not going to lay $2 against an offense that's uh, been performing the way the Orioles offense has. Even though I don't believe it's a sustainable number, I'm not going to get in the way of it. Um, I'll wait for them to cool off before I fade them paying $2 to fade them. Um, I absolutely, you know, expect the, bot or the Tampa Bay Rays to win this game, but I'm not going to pay $2 to see them win the game. Yeah, yeah, and then the minus one and a half plus a hundred, and with the way Malone's pitching, with the yeah, it's just it's just a little too much. TJ says O's are the play today. Too much name cred for Glass now. How is he getting right? Has only pitched into the sixth once. Yeah, I know, I, I get it. And Corey Simmons Gooch play of the day is the Orioles at plus one ninety. Orioles at plus one ninety. We got Brandon Cummings in the house. All is well here. Uh, all is well here. I could never fault anybody for taking a plus one ninety in MLB. So, yeah, especially when you got a pitcher who's got a twenty five k three walk k to walk rate. 
Uh, Carlos Jetton in the house. Great to see you, Carlos. Um, yeah, 